Hey guys, how's it going? Just want to show you quickly how I go about framing a gable end on the ground. <clears throat> now you could always do this in place, but it's a lot more work. And we have the luxury of the machine, so we may as well use it. So right here, I have established my overhang based on uh, based on my side. I like to keep it all the same all the way around. The only place on this roof my overhang will change is in this front here where it's stucco. So I've used two by 10 scrap blocks to uh, square up my sides, make sure my sides stay nice and stiff and square, as well as my peak. Just make sure your cuts are very straight because you're, it'll only be as straight as your cuts. And then I've put also a two by 10 on the side to keep it straight laterally. Also guys, what I recommend when you're pulling your two feet, also mark the tops. Or else, this just makes it look nicer and uh, it just comes out not looking straighter. So right here, I have a very simple 712 um, little skirt. So I'll show you how quickly how I do that. It's very simple. So I start out, of course, marking my 712. I'm gonna cut that. So I'll pick a side. Basically, to get the size, I line it up flush down here. I'm gonna drop it a little bit more because I'm gonna use that scrap floor plywood to sheet. I don't really wanna use my 3 8 plywood. So, so if I drop it like that to account, make sure this is contacting very nicely there. And I just mark the underside. And there's my raft rafter. So it looks like I need four of those. enough so quickly cut four when you're doing something like this you want to keep your tools nice and close by organized you are the better and quicker this will take so I'm gonna draw a straight line there got framing nails in the gun good to go We don't run out of gas doing this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mark the other side. Just gonna have a cleaner line here. And then I'm just gonna have to go with that. Okay, I like that. Looks good. Last one. Nice and flush. Okay, now I'm gonna leave it back for brick. 
I'm gonna leave it back five inches. So looking at 17 by 17 by two feet. Okay, so guys, another vital skill framing is learning how to scribe. So there's my 17, really speeds up. So if I had to bring out a chalk line here, that would just be a total waste of time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the corners off doesn't get in the way of my sheeting on the other side later on. Bikes in there. Almost done switching it out for this. So, see what I'm talking about? As long as that cut is above this, then you're good. Didn't see that nail there. So, I'm gonna bring that, give it the eye test. I like it. down. Good. Uh, last one. Have it. So that fascia is ready to go. Sorry, that gable's ready to go. That gable's gonna go right there in the end. Before I sand this one up, I'm gonna stand the one behind it and set those trusses real quick. But that's enough for one day. Guys, I hope that helps in any way. Um Basically, remember, don't go cheap on little braces. They take two seconds and then make sure everything stays nice and square and straight. I find it really helps out. Afterwards, we're gonna put a T-brace uh, on the mid-span, about this four foot mark, right across, and then put another two by four on top of that. But that is after it's all stood up and set. Guys, have a great night. Um, oh, one more thing. I thought I, I know I said yesterday, I do, I show you what I have in my tool pouch. So I don't know if you guys remember, but before I was using that uh, Lowe's Special, the AWP classic framing pouch. Looks fairly similar to this one, except it's uh, basically a different color and slightly smaller. So this is what I'm working with now. Basically what happened was the AWP one really got soft here. I think it's from always hanging the gun off. But over time, it got really loose here to the point it was folding over. And basically I was losing a lot of nails and time and frustration and chalk lines or whatever what have you so I thought you know what time for a change now I don't know if you can tell just off by hand but this is an old Cooney's pouch that's recently I guess in the last couple years been rebranded basically this company Bosa has 
I'm guessing bought their whole product line and just rebranded it. I got this off uh, IHL on eBay. I know they're in Woodbridge off of, uh, I believe, Roundtree Drive. Basically, IHL is like a Costco for framers. Um, but this is who sells this, and I think that's exclusive if I'm not wrong. But basically, if I'm working on the roof, I'm working and I'm working with strip nails, I usually have about 20, 20 strips. And I like to keep them like that. Usually when you get them, there's something like that. I take the extra two seconds, separate them and put them all straight. Reason being is when I'm pulling them out, they just slide out. I don't have to fight or maneuver in the air with them. So just a little thing to consider. Um, okay, so what's in the pouch? Basic hand spikes, more strip nails. I think you've seen this before from my, uh, my last tool related review. I always carry crayons. Usually I have a red one and a blue one. There's the red one right there actually. I got the Olfa knife. I believe it's, uh, I could be wrong in those guys. Don't quote me, but I think it's 27 millimeter. But great knife, very durable. 